Okay, so here's the board overview for tonight. We are playing lengthwise tonight. Um, we are playing a custom scenario. We are doing uh, Capture the Objective, which is located in the middle. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, this is, by default, the American side. Um, and that side is the German side. And we'll go into detail on why that is. Uh, it's mostly because it's a custom scenario. Yes, we have no roads. We're using cheap cardboard that we just cut out and foam core that we just cut out. Um, so the Americans were playing all deploy round one or turn one. Um, our objective is located inside this truck in the, in the middle. Um, we've got something that seems very fitting for um, a little conflict 47. So we've got an Ark of the Covenant or some sort of, you know, secret secrets that we need, some sort of supernatural uh, objective. Um, on this end, we have a German complex. It looks like it's just a little repair facility, but it's uh, a little more than that. Uh, apparently, it is uh, more of a science experiment going on. Um, we are going to play that a regular infantry squad can start in that building. Um, infantry squad can start in either of those two buildings, and the shock troopers can start in any of those buildings. Uh, German player's decision. Once the game kicks off, we will have Totenkorp can start anywhere on the table. Um, I'm sorry, deploy anywhere from this edge of the table. Um, and same thing with the heavy infantry and the uh, Panzermech. Um, we will assume that they were all on patrol when the uh, artillery strike came in. Sorry, I'm really zoning here. Um, just going over the notes at the same time. So that's the way we're going to play this. Um, Although, I'm thinking that maybe we'll discuss this, but maybe we'll also let the heavy infantry start um, in a building. But for right now, they're going to come on the edge. I, you know, I'll let uh, German player decide um, when it's his turn to deploy. And then, as far as terrain goes, um, buildings are going to count as buildings. Cardboard's going to count as roads. I mean, roads are going to count as roads. Um, Ruins are going to count as ruins or um, impassable terrain, rough terrain. Um, I'm sorry, uh, dense terrain, sorry. Uh, brick and stone walls are going to count as heavy cover. Um, bushes will count as soft cover, and we'll let the infantry just run right through them. We're not going to let that stop infantry. Um, vehicles, so it might stop the jeeps. Um, if I didn't say it already, ruins are ru or buildings are ruins, or those buildings are ruins. The ruins are ruins. Yes. Um, this is going to count as dense terrain, so you can't see through it. But if you're in it, you can see out of it, and we can see into it and count as, I believe, soft cover. I'll have to look that up. Uh, don't usually play with dense terrain, uh, or should I say, I haven't, don't remember the rules. The uh, tracks in the back are going to count as rough terrain, although I don't think anything's going to get to play on them or be affected by it. Um, and I think that's all we got. Uh, rocks and tree stumps and dead horses don't really count as anything. I guess if you've got one guy behind the horse, we'll give you soft cover for it. I um, don't think it's going to come to that, though. Um, and we will be back shortly with the beginning of round one and deployment. Okay, so we're doing a reinforced platoon, which is a first lieutenant, um, heavy infantry squad, an SS shock trooper squad, a uh, Totenkorp squad, uh, Wehrmacht heavy infantry, uh, I'm sorry, just regular infantry, I'm sorry, and then another regular infantry, and then a uh, Spine Light Panzer Mech, which is actually the Flum Spine, or Spine Flum, the, the fire version. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is our first Lutant. 
Um, he has got a submachine gun, and his uh, buddy here is carrying an assault rifle. We then have the heavy infantry squad back here, which is all assault rifles with the exception of two uh, light machine guns and two of the gentlemen are carrying Panzerfaust and I'll also figure out who the loaders are and to designate the squad leader um, he does have um, an insignia on his shoulder he's the only one with that we then have the Waffen SS shock troopers back here and they're a little hard to see because they're all black um, my squad leader is the gentleman with the radio on and then I have one light machine gun. Everyone else is equipped with an assault rifle. We will make the gentleman with the broken assault rifle the loader. Um, that way he's easier to spot in the squad. I then have 16 Totenkorp, which, um, yeah, most of them are decapitated. I guess they don't seem to mind. Um, and a lot of them are not painted yet, so they are what they are. Sorry about that. We then have a Vermont heavy, or regular infantry squad down here. We have an NCO with a submachine gun. We have um, a oops, sorry, our focus here. We have a light machine gun and loader. We have one submachine gun. We have two assault rifles and three rifles with Panzerfaust. Now here's where I screwed up. Um, my list only has two Panzerfausts when I made it, and I don't have the right models with me. So my partner here is going to get two free Panzerfausts, one for each squad. That sucks to be me, I guess. Um, then on this squad we have um, an NCO with submachine gun. We've got uh, two assault rifles and five rifles, three of which have Panzerfausts, even though I only bought two, which brings us up to, I believe, 1,000 points even. Oh, sorry, I forgot the, um, the light spine mech. So we've got this guy back here rolling. This is the uh, flamethrower version. And all that comes out, I believe, um, seven order dice and 1,000 points. I'm sorry, it's 1,001 points, so I'm even getting a free point. So, there we go. Uh, ignore Sergeant Rock. I don't know why he's on the table. All right. Uh, real fast with the Germans, I forgot to call out what everything is as far as skill levels. So our um, lieutenant is regular, our heavy infantry is veteran, totem corps in experience as expected, um, not that they really matter, uh, infantry squads are both regular, and the shock troopers are also veteran. So just to recap, Regular, 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 veteran, veteran, green, and I believe he is regular. Um, he is regular, so the vehicle is also regular. So, moving on, let's go take a look at the Americans. Okay, let's take a look at the Americans real fast. The Americans are an airborne themed. We've got ourselves, everything is, uh, sorry if I make everyone sick here, everyone is veteran except for the vehicles, the vehicles are all regular. I've got a second lieutenant with a submachine gun and two flunkies, one with submachine gun, one with rifle. I've got a 10-man squad here with uh, one submachine gun, one BAR, three more submachine guns, and then five rifles. For a total of 10. I've got a, another squad over here. Ignore Sergeant Rock. I was going to mix him in, but he's a Marine. These are airborne, so he gets he gets the boot. Um, I've got one NCO with a submachine gun. i got one BAR. I've got two more submachine guns for a total of three, and then five um, troopers with uh, 
rifles for a total of a nine-man squad. I have some Firefly jumps back here, uh, NCO with submachine gun, um, one flamethrower, two BARs, six more submachine guns for a total of ten. Sorry about the shadows, everyone. And I've got medium machine gun back here. I've got two uh, Jeeps with 50 cals, no transport. They are just uh, armored cars or gunships or whatever you want to call them. Um, and then I have a Mud Skipper Jump Walker. Um, and he's been reconfigured slightly. He's got the two shoulder mounted auto cannons and the coax uh, medium machine gun on his belly. And then we're going to say his right arm is a machine gun. I believe it's a heavy machine gun. I'll have to verify that. And his left arm is a bazooka. Uh, this makes me uh, 1,000 points even for this squad. Um, and just as a reminder, those guys are regular. Everyone else is veteran. And just ignore the half track. It's a little destroyed. That's just scenery at this point. I should mention, um, because of the size of the objective, we are going to say only infantry can capture it. No vehicle, no troop. Um, and honestly, we would like it off the table. So drag it back to either the German base and put it in an underground bunker or run it off the American side of the table. Um, and only infantry can carry it. Um, considering making it slow, but because of the fact we're only playing six rounds with an option for a seventh, I don't think it's going to get off the edge of the table in seven rounds if we made it so that it slows down a unit. So we'll just play it as is. Um, this is more for fun. I'm not really, you know, hardcore worried about it. All right. Uh, we'll be back for deployment in a minute. Okay. End of turn one. You guys missed absolutely nothing. Not a damn thing. It was just, let's get them on the board. So let's start over here. This airborne squad ran up the flanks. It uh, came on. Nothing to shoot at. This uh, airborne squad ran up. Again, nothing to shoot at. The medium machine gun ran up. It's going to be a while before he gets anything to shoot at. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is a good board for him. A mortar would have been much better this round. Um, the jump fireflies um, did a jump maneuver, landed there. They went over the field and over the half track. Um, no, no targets on them. The uh, jeep ran up its 24 and sort of hiding behind this building. The jump walker did a jump maneuver and landed there. The other jeep ran up the road but couldn't squeeze around the Hanamag without going off-roading. So we just stopped him there. Um, the command squad moved on up and they are inside this building here, chilling. I guess they're trying to see if the guys had any alcohol in the building. All right, let's go take a look at the German side and see what's going on over there. Excuse me. Let's not make anybody sick. So on the German side, oh, we had a casualty. The super glue is out. Um, the heavy uh, infantry ran all of nothing. They get their eight inches on. So... Same thing with the uh, shambling little uh, Totenkorp. They uh, shambled their way onto the board. Uh, you'll notice that there's been a change in the game, too. We had uh, done the original list as two squads of 16. Because uh, the dice weren't even, new player playing. We just split it into two squads of eight. Um, doesn't change the game at all as far as mechanics. Really gives a even number of dice per side. Um, yeah, no big deal. Asked if he could do it, so we did it. Um, moving right along, we've got uh, Command Squad scurried from this building, so that was their spawn building, and ran up to here. I uh, gave themselves some cover. 
This squad, that was their spawn building. Um, they have the medium machine gun or the light machine gun in that window there. So they just went on ambush and stayed in the building. So that was their spawn. Uh, this squad ran up the road from this building, which was their spawn, got that far. Uh, this building has the um, our SS in it. They started in this building ran across the courtyard and jumped into that window, so now they're in that building. And as you can see, he's getting a new antenna put on as we're playing the game. Somehow in transport, we lost the antenna. Oh well, not a big deal. Um, did I mention the spine mech yet? I don't think I mentioned that guy yet. He uh, scurried onto that board, he did a full on run, got up behind the um, trees, and actually he was right against it. We moved the trees trying to find the antenna, sorry. Um, he ran right up to the edge of the trees and he's in a nice little spot to ambush on the objective so he's got a nice little clean shot back there unobscured so not sure if he's gonna stay back here if he's gonna come scurrying out uh, yet to see uh, definitely it's a little more fair from this side of the table as far as guns on the objective um, you know we've got a building here aimed right at it right off the bat with a spawn in already we got another building here with uh, guns on the objective um, and we've got this guy guns on the objective these guys are going to make you the way up pretty quick and uh, well these guys whatever they just shamble um, we started to have them shamble over here and realize well since we said the tracks were going to be um, hard cover that really screws them up because well, they've got uh, nowhere to go. Or I should say, they would go extra, extra slow. Um, so, pretty much between the tracks there, kind of ruins this whole flank. Whoops. Definitely going to rethink this board next time we play. Um, that, or we're going to do a rematch, flip sides, or we'll get, maybe we'll do it with Weiss, with the, still doing the spawn on that side. Um, or to do opposite corners. Actually, opposite corners would probably be pretty cool with this board. So, maybe next time. So, on to turn two. We already flipped the die. And uh, we'll give you an update when we're there. Okay, so this guy moved around from over here. And he's going to get the first shot of the game. He is going to shoot at those zombies over there. The painted ones, not the... Well, actually... I already called the painted one, so I'll stick with the painted ones. So, uh, movement, throw three, movement one, four, and long range. So I'm one inch out of long range. So those are fives. And I got two hits. Uh, they are green, so yeah, uh, die on threes, so one saving throw. Whoops. And one's dead. Okay, so very next turn, or very next die, American. This guy crept up from over here to behind this building and has a line of sight on that bunker full of Germans. So go on down, see if we can get a top view without getting snagged on everything. And def I have got a line of fire right to it from my auto cannons. Let's go ahead and roll those. So one for movement, two for long range, so needing fives. Uh, three hits. And that's uh, 2d6 times Three. Did not give the option to go down. Did you want to go down? All right. So I need uh, those are regulars. So four to kill. Down, 
I need sixes. Oops, I need six dice. Got one. No exceptional. One's out. And then on top of that, I have a heavy machine gun that should be in range. That's three dice. That needs same five to hit. Got two sixes. And sixes to do it also. Nothing. Okay, so a quick update. Walker snuck, snuck into the woods, took a pot shot out from between the trees. Uh, auto cannon hit this thing square in the nose, and uh, boom, flambe. I uh, hit it, caught on fire, and he missed his uh, saving throw, morale check, whatever you want to call it, so he didn't get the fire put out. It's toast, literally. Okay, quick recap of turn two. It's now over. Um, I'm not sure where to begin. Okay, these guys ran up and took shelter behind the wall. The jeep, as we saw, scrambled out of cover here. Took a pot shot in at the zombies. Took a zombie out. Um, the mech over here scurried out or into the woods and uh, took a shot at this jeep and lit it on fire and it failed its uh, morale test to put the fire out or orders test I should say um, these guys moved on up to the edge of the woods these guys shambled up these guys shambled up um, let me get this tree back sorry just, we keep knocking that tree over um, command went down just they stay there to help these guys out next turn, I guess. Um, those guys are down because they had a shot taken at them from the walker behind that building and put it through the window. Managed to put um, only one pin on there. I think I did that wrong because it was an HE. There should have been multiple pins, but it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, so those guys were down for the whole turn, did nothing. Um, these guys ran up out of the building, um, deployed against the brick wall with the heavies and have the Panzerfaust sort of pointed that way in case that jeep comes around that corner next turn. Um, these guys ran up the road to try and get a little bit of cover behind the um, wrecked Hanamag. These guys ran up to the cover of the shrubs. These guys uh, ran up to the shrubs. That guy, as we said, ran up and took a pot shot into the bunker and scored some pins and some hits. Or well, one casualty. Um, command squad came running on up from uh, that building over there. The firefly jump. Uh, jumped regular from here to there and then opened up with the BARs into these guys um, scored a hit but did not kill anything so just a pin was inflicted and that is it and thus ends round two going on to round three okay so as we progress through turn three we have some interesting blood going on here the jump scouts or jump Firefly Jump Infantry decided that uh, they're getting tired of sitting around. They just jumped right into the front of this squad um, to light it up with the flamethrower and nine, oh, one, two BARs and seven uh, SMGs. Um, totally forgot about the conflict reactions. Um, the unit went ahead and passed a reaction test and it's going to go for firefight so we're going to do simo combat here so i am doing nine 
Oh, 18 dice of damage plus one automatic roll from a flamethrower. So, um, what do I see? Uh, flamethrower automatically kills five right off the bat. And then I need point blank and heavy cover, so I need fours to hit. So, let's get rid of that one, that, that, that. That, 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 and that. All right, so that still leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits to kill. Uh, these are veterans, so <sighs> you have five to kill. Wow. So, uh, only one killed with a bullet. That's six dead. Oops. And these were the German two kills. Uh, needing threes to kill. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten kills. That's the entire squad. No need to roll for exceptionals there. They're all 100% dead. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, these are veterans. Shit. These are veterans on veterans. I'm sorry. Uh, you need four ups to kill. All right. So, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dead. <laughs> nine dead. Oh, and your exceptionals, no go. All right. Um, yeah, that's uh, not pretty. So, both of us need to roll um, morale tests. Be right back. All right. So, American morale test seven. I'm actually good. Oops. Um, yeah, no go. You had a pin on you already. All right, so I've got one man left on the table out of this whole squad. No exceptionals. I'm going to leave the flamethrower. So that's uh, ouch. Okay, continuing on with the over-aggressive nature of the American uh, Airborne here. The mud skipper trudged through the remains of that building, got up behind this opal blitz for cover, and is going to unload onto this squad of Germans who have a reaction roll of uh, no-go. They get to stand there and take it in the face. So I've got uh, two auto cannons. Heavy machine gun and a bazooka all going into it. Um, everything is at short range. Red dice are auto cannons, and green are bazookas and machine guns. I am going to need movement, no cover, force. I need force for everything. One, two, three auto cannon, four auto cannon hits, and oh shit. Um, yeah, that didn't work. I have to re roll the greens. Because I don't know which is a bazooka and which is a machine gun. My bad. All right, three machine guns.
that's just not fair. I'm a dick. I feel like I should re-roll all that. Okay, because I uh, screwed that last roll up, I'm going to do that roll again. Uh, we'll have the correct dice this time. Uh, red is auto cannon. Green are machine guns, and one of them is actually black. Black will be the bazooka. Now we'll call that one cocked. All right. So auto cannon, auto cannon. Three auto cannon hits. One bazooka hit. Um, no machine guns. So, uh, we're not playing templates today. We're playing, oh, uh, we are playing templates. I'm sorry. Um, templates. Template is in the other room. Um, but I get three one inch templates, I believe. Uh, just checking one moment. One inch template. Uh, they all touch. I'm pretty sure that's going to touch every one of those things. And then the bazooka is. No template, just a kill with a plus five. So we'll roll the bazooka first. Uh, those are regulars, so I need a four to kill. Four. And this is for my three templates. So all eight guys are covered. Need fours. Um, one, two, three, four, five dead. Two possible exceptions. Two exceptions. Um, I will pick the, uh, What do you got there? I will take the Panzer Shrek or a Panzer Faust and a Panzer Faust. Fuck, I'm taking both Panzer Faust. I got a mech way too close. Both Panzer Faust, please. All right, well, there's still a Panzer Faust in there. Uh, there are three from that squad. I forgot that we modified the squads. So I um, need to do a morale test to see if they stay. Up oh, six and a five. They ran off the table. Okay, so the little spider mech came running out of cover and decided it's going to take a pot shot at the mud skipper. Um, that is a hit. You need um, three plus one for movement and plus four for penetration. Five, you penetrate. Um, and I need to, or you need to roll die for damage. And you got a six. That is a dead mud skipper. Sigh. All right. All right. So the totem corp over here just slogged down forward. That brains. Heading for these guys over there, I guess. Um, and the heavies uh, moved forward into the spot where the Panzer mech was hiding. Um, since we're using the conflict, I'm sorry, the bolt action rules over conflict for the firing, uh, the assault rifles are out of range for the command squad in here. So all we get are two Hitler buzz saws, which 10 dice, uh, needing sixes to hit. What'd you get? You got uh, three sixes there. So go ahead and roll those again. Oh. Uh, one hit. Uh, did you get a... 
Now you didn't get a, uh, what do we call it? I will take my rifle out. Oops, sorry. And there goes my rifle. So, whoa. He's good. Okay, end of turn three recap, and we've had a lot of carnage. Um, don't even know where to start. Um, well, we had that whole entire scene with the jump infantry jump from this building over to the fence there and pretty much wiped out both squads minus the one flamethrower, which, by the way, I never rolled to see if I was out of fuel for that, so I will do that now. Five. I've still got fuel. That would have sucked if I had fuel and it was my last guy when I didn't do that. Um, this uh, mud skipper scooted through the building here, uh, took out that squad there. Um, the spine mech ran from cover over there and uh, took out the mud skipper. Ouch. Um, these guys moved on into the woods and took a pot shot at the command squad, took out one of the, um, idiots that hang out with the lieutenant. Um, these guys did a lateral from behind the wall over here to try and get up to the objective next round. Um, those guys, same, they ran into the house to try and get up to the objective next round. The machine gun team ran from way over there to try and get into the house, replace these guys next turn, I guess, to um, put down some support fire. All the little shamblies uh, shambled on up, screaming brains, got nowhere. Uh, these guys over here were going to run up to the objective, except for they had one pin on them. They were outside the Toten Corp, but still rolled an 11. So they went down. Command squad just went down. They were, the command squad started to come around the building. Uh, just waited for a while and realized no matter where they went, they could get shot by any of these squads that are over there. So I guess the command squad's just hiding like a bunch of little cowards. Um, and I think that sums up that turn. Just looking at the dead pile... Um, yeah, on the American side, uh, it was just that one whole squad plus one, uh, one person from the command squad, and this side lost two entire squads. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, on to round four. Uh, also, real fast, uh, I forgot about this Jeep back here. Uh, had screwed up along the tracks further and uh, was coming up for a, a, a flank, I guess, next round. Forgot about him until I couldn't figure out why we were short a die. So, let uh, round four begin. Okay, so the first die of turn four is German. The little walker scurried around the corner here. And it is going to put a fistful of fire into that squad. Honestly, it didn't have to move, but it did move. Um, now, if we were playing conflict rules, it would be a light vehicle flamethrower. And it would be 2D minus 1, which would definitely most likely kill everything. Um, since we are doing the... Bolt action weapons rules, it's only D6 plus one. Um, and that also brings up another interesting thing. I was going to do a reaction, but as we were fine reading the reactions, firefight says there must be a fire order, not an advance order. So um, that would mean that whole entire firefight over there has been negated and my opponent has graciously given me back my entire squad since it was only last turn and nothing has happened since then. I've had no dice pulled. So, thank you opponent. In the meantime, speaking of opponent, um, that is four guys toasted out of that squad. Um, and I 
think I need to make a morale test for fear. I'm going to pull four rifles out there. Actually, I'm going to get the laying down guy because he's annoying as hell. All right, four guys out. And then I need to see if I need to do um, some kind of morale test. I'll be right back. Oh, you need to roll your flamethrower, see if you're out of fuel. One, it is out of fuel. You are now stuck with um, H -E, or um, anti-tank only now. Okay, so I ended up with four pins out of that. Um, D3 plus one automatically. And then I do have to roll a morale test because, um, well, that freaked the hell out of me with uh, burning liquids. Oops, two dice. What am I doing? Um, I am veteran, so it's nine minus four, eight, seven, six. I'm dead. I have run away. Okay, uh, next up, uh, American Die. This little Jeep is going to be slick and he's just going to turn and go down this little alley here. Vroom, 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 vroom. And he is going to shoot on down at the command squad down there. So, um, let me see. Range is, I think, 36 on this. So, under. Short range, so one for movement, one for small squads, needing five, three shots. <sniffs> Nothing. Way to go, buddy. Alright, so these guys rolled up out of their hiding space. They needed uh, seven's the hit on these guys in there. Um, all the weapons were in range. They threw a whopping uh, 16 dice. Whatever's in this pile here. So they needed sevens to hit. They got one six, rolled again. Did not get that second six. So. So the squad that was in the building over there decided to hightail it for this uh, walker here and uh, assaulted it even though they don't have um, any weapons. They passed their tank fear since it's a fully enclosed vehicle and got four hits on it and rolled a four which was equal to the armor value of the tank. So they have done damage to it and just to see what happens is a two. Uh oh, I might be in trouble here. What's a two? Two on a damage chart is immobilize. Plus one pin marker vehicle cannot move for the rest of the game. All right. That is a done deal. Let's uh I need to go back six or three piece or three inches. All right. Okay, so this shambling horde made a turn towards the uh, guys in the truck. Oh, I should start out over here. Sorry. So these guys um, ran down from the building. Front, yeah, they did a run. They ran down from the building and hopped up on the truck and decided to get themselves the uh, booty, bounty, whatever, booty. <laughs> they got some booty. <laughs> anyway, uh, these guys uh, decided to head these off head on just in case the dice go against us next turn. Um, I've got, what have I got in there? Um, 18 regular dice and one flamethrower against eight zombies. Wait, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zombies. Um, all right, flamethrower first. Six. And does it run out of fuel? It does not run out of fuel. Um, and then, I, how many did I say for the rest of the dice? Um, One, two, eighteen dice. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Oh, last one. I need threes to hit. So those are all going to be hits. See the flamethrower because it's a pen four. Immediately kills six, no saving throw. And that guy can come back on a five or a six on a single German die. One still standing. Sorry, is that the one you wanted to take? All right, real quick. The squad has run out of that bunker, run up to here, I'm sorry, advanced up to here, and took a shot at the Firefly infantry and rolled like a boss and killed four. Um, moving on. Okay, end of round four, and we had a bloody round. Um... Not even sure where to start. There's been so much death on the table. Um, geez, uh, I don't even know where to begin. All right, so the flam, flam spinny, spine spinny, um, flew around the corner from the road, uh, barbecued the squad that was here, uh, the rest of the squad ran off demoralized and petrified and a little charred and singed on their eyebrows. Um, this squad ran out of the ruins over there, assaulted it, uh, knocked, out, knocked out its mobility so it's now immobilized. It does still have a working turret. However, it is out of fuel. Um, the machine gun squad has darted across the road. It looks like it lost an ammo crate. Um, hopefully they won't need that. The command squad that was here got hit by the heavy infantry and knocked out one of the assistants. The command squad in the meantime has gotten to the objective. They have their hands on the Ark of the Covenant. Um, they are going to get ready to run off the board with that. Hopefully they can carry it. Um, these guys over here, they have moved through the the vehicles and try to use them for cover. They took out most of the squad of zombies with the flamethrower and um, bullets. Left one behind. Uh, these guys have moved up to try and avenge their fallen brothers and get some free brain munchies. Uh, this squad over here has run out of the building and actually whittled those guys down with some really lucky rolls. So they lost four out of that squad. And I think that is all the carnage that has happened this round. Um, it's been a gruesome round. So um, we will now go into round five. And we will update you as we progress. Oh, I had forgotten. Sorry. Didn't realize we were recording already. Um, 
the command squad had run from back here to try and assist these guys in case they were too close to the totem court. Um, they also had passed their morale test and lost their pin. And we still have a Jeep back there sneaking up for a flank. I guess everyone forgot about it, including myself. So on to round five. Okay, first die of round five went to the Toten Corp. I mean the German Toten Corp bum rushed the objective and the commander and his lieutenant made a morale check to run away and did a um, escape maneuver. So they had to run back 12 inches, so they scurried around the ruins here, ended up back there, and that is where they are at. And I'm getting text. Okay, next dice went to this crazy American squad that decided they are going to assault the undead. Um, yeah, those are some crazy motherfuckers. So... They went ahead, um, did not roll the zombie fear test. They are good for zombie fear. That is going to be 13 dice of damage. And let's just grab all these. I need a three up to kill. So let's pull, pull, pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is the full squad dead. But these guys might come back from the dead. So German player needs to roll. What do you, what do you need to roll? You need to roll eight dice for saving throws. You need fives and sixes on all of those. So... A little bit of a camera malfunction there. You need to roll eight dice to save. Um, three are still standing. And those three will bite back. Okay, so these crazy Americans have rolled up and attacked the zombies. Um, in hand to hand, they wiped out all of the zombies. The zombies did their little saving check and the three rem remains standing so there's three bites back so they get to do three bites needing fives so one American has been bitten so everyone comes off the table but three do you care which ones I take okay so I'll leave the pretty one here. So there are three still standing. I lost one. I will take a gunner or a pistol, rifle, whatever. And I don't believe the Totem Corp have to take a morale check at this point because they just don't really give a fuck. So these guys get to go again. Um, this time it will be 12 dice. Let's see if I can find 12 dice. Uh, four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I cannot roll left-handed, sorry. Just don't have it in me. Uh, killing on threes. Some possible exceptions, but don't care with Totem Corp. So they are all dead again. And roll three dice to save. Uh, this might go on for a while. Two stayed alive. One came out. So it's going to be... Um, attack with two, please. Tell me what you get. And you got a six and a three, so you got one kill again. Now I go with 11 dice. 
We can do this all day. I mean, ultimately, I'm pretty sure I can't lose, but let's see how many I lose. 8, 9, 10, 11. Pretty sure they're dead. Clean up your dice. Yeah. We got there. Five, one is still standing. Roll it, roll it again. Six. It is still standing. It doesn't want to die. Roll to see if you munch on me. Uh, which you rolled that one. So you munched on me on a six. Roll for exceptional. No. I will take that guy off the table. I am now down to 10 dice. This is fun. We're having fun, right? Fucking zombies, man. I tell you, they just don't want to die. Um, <laughs> kill me. Yeah, I killed them. Killed them a few times over. Um, give me uh, one die to see if you stay alive. Uh, where'd that go? Uh, it's back there somewhere. I don't even know what it says. It's a four. All right, it is finally dead and consolidation roll four inches. All right, that is a squad of zombies holding on for dear death, dear life. Well, they're not alive, must be dear death. All right, all right, next die is America. These guys did a little uh, short jump maneuver, so just an advanced jump to get side on with these guys they are going to do uh 10 dice worth of damage one two three four five guys so four machine guns one bar and then a flamethrower which is going to auto hit uh they're american so no movement penalty point blank so that's twos so pretty much anything but ones are going to hit and we've got so let's one miss, two insta kills. Those are regulars, so killing on. Those are regulars? Killing on fives. Sorry, killing on four. Sorry, regulars. So that is. Six dead and three. Just six dead. Well, the bad news is they took four pins. So, to see if they stay on the table. Um, even with the bonus from the first lieutenant, I don't think that's good enough. Nine, yeah, no. Okay, the uh, German heavy infantry has swung up towards this squad here, unleashed on them with six assault rifles and two um, light machine guns. Got uh, seven hits on them and translated zero of them to casualties, so it's just one pin. Um, back to the bag. Okay, next I was America. Uh, it's really dark over here. I don't think you can see anything. The medium machine gun was up next. It uh, shot uh, into the German heavy infantry and hit nothing but dirt. I think they probably shot the horse again just because they were scared of it. I don't know. So, back to the bag. I forgot to roll for my flamethrower out of fuel. It's got plenty of fuel. Okay, so the last three moves. These guys turned and fired at these guys right in the face. Um, scored one casualty. That one little zombie that was over here bum rushed these guys to take a chomp out of them and missed and then got uh, shot in the face. Because he was shot in the face, uh, he did not survive his stand-up save roll, so... Basically, he failed both rolls. Um, this guy turned and fired into the 
um, mini or uh, medium machine gun scored no kills just a pin and I believe that is it so just a real quick wrap up uh, this guy shot at those guys pinned them these guys shot at these guys and ended up hitting the horse instead um, these guys braved the zombies and attacked them by the way they should have an additional pin from that last combat with those and or is it two pins from two rounds of combat I forgot how that works but they should actually have more pins than they do I'll get some free pins in a little bit um, those guys were rousted off of the objective in the very beginning of the turn by the zombies that are no longer here when they bum rushed them um, these guys took a jump from over there and took out the entire squad that was here just demoralized them with the fire and they ran off the board even with the loot in it here did not help them um, this jeep decided to just rush around from playing on the back side of the board by himself I guess he got tired of you know jerking off in the alley and uh, these guys moved up and fired into those guys and I don't remember if they hurt anybody or not. Um, definitely got a pin. I think they killed one. Um, that is it. Not much left on the board. Americans have four units. Uh, one's a little small. Actually, a couple are a little small at this point. The Germans have this guy, the commander. Oh, they also got that. And a walker with a broken leg. So they are down to three dice, I think. And we are going into turn six. This is possibly the last turn. It's not looking good for the uh, Germans at the moment. A quick overview of the board. Catch you guys in a little bit. First die is the American. And, uh, yep, yeah, they grabbed it. They ran off, they went this side the Hannah Mag to try and avoid um, getting blasted by this guy. So it has, the end has begun. Uh, I don't think they're going to get it off the turn, or off the board in one turn. If we roll a seven, they, they're not getting it off the table. It's too late in the game, but we'll see what happens. Alright, battery's dying, so we're speeding this up a little bit. These guys advanced up. Took a shot at the guys running away with the booty. Um, we went ahead and said they were... Why is the lighting so bad in here today? Um, went ahead and said that they are hard cover back there. So our... Yeah. Nice number of sixes back there, we figured. Um, and then that translated to four kills. So, I get to pull four off the board and do a savings check or morale check. And I now have two pins on me because I carried two or one over from before. So, um, morale check. So I would need a seven. Yeah, I'm good. We actually forgot to roll for the exceptionals. So, I lost my NCO, but I'm still good with fives. Um, I would need sixes, so we're good. So goodbye NCO and this nice pile of carcasses. Okay, trying to get this in before the battery dies. So this guy here turned and fired on that squad right there, um, who then in return did a firefight reaction. Hopefully I'm within range for a firefight. I should look that up. I think that's correct, though. Um, I'll have to look that up and maybe renege this whole turn. Um, so those were the rolls. Um, only one hit, so I got one casualty. Firefight on this side. Flamethrower immediately killed two and scored an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Hitting a two at point blank. I'm not even going to roll the damage. They're done. Okay, so this guy went ahead and pulled a fire order. 
took a pot shot those guys back there. Uh, the, we called it heavy cover, even though technically I don't think we can really see them. If he stood up out of his thing, I mean, I got a helmet over there. I got a wall. I mean, we've all seen uh, Block Hack Down, where the guy shoots the wall behind the guy and hits them with the RPG uh, ricochet. So we called it a six heavy cover. I mean, it is a light skinned vehicle, so maybe you could shoot right through it. Uh, rolled a three, so it doesn't count. Uh, that was the last German die. I still got three more. I mean, I can run this Jeep up and hit these guys. These guys can jump right over here, do a little flamethrower action and some machine guns. But since it's round six, the objective is no way getting off the table. Um, I think this is done deal. We'll roll for one more turn. Two. There is no more turn. There's no point in going on. This is a done game. Um, thanks for watching. Definitely feel free to point out my numerous errors that I'm sure there are. I know we forgot a few, um, especially flamethrower uh, running out of juices, reactions, and probably just some bad math. I went to public school, so yeah, my math sucks. Um, 4 plus 4 equals cat, last I checked. So, alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a good day. Hopefully we can do some more of these and I get better at uh, shooting and editing. And the battery is at 0%. How's that working? Thanks.